sea turtles have been coming to lay their eggs on our beaches in Florida long before the dinosaurs were even walking around. Florida is home to more nesting loggerhead sea turtles than just about any place else on Earth. And so our beaches here in Florida are very, very critical when it comes to conserving loggerhead sea turtle. A female sea turtle is about 20 to 30 years old when she comes to nest for the first time. She will lay between 100 to 120 ping pong size eggs into that nest cavity. And it's the most amazing thing to watch. Once she's finished, she's gonna turn around and head back to the ocean. Lights are a real issue for sea turtles. When females are coming to nest at night, they're looking for a nice, dark, quiet place to lay their egg. And when the little hatchlings emerge about two months later, imagine 100 to 120 little hatchlings coming out of the uh, nest, and it looks like a little volcano erupting full of little baby sea turtles. What they're looking for is the moon shining on the water and the hatchlings make their way to the ocean and they go as fast as they possibly can. Once they hit the water, they are gonna swim for about 24 to 48 hours. They call it a swim frenzy because they're trying to get out as far as possible and not be visible to predators. If there are lights shining behind them, they will head towards the brightest light that they can see. So they may end up in the dunes and never make it back to the ocean. So when hatchlings emerge and they make their way to the water, they start looking for the floating sargassum or seaweed that's just floating on the surface. But unfortunately, one of the things that we're finding is that seaweed and sargassum is full of lots of plastic and trash. The little sea turtles will start to take bites and that's how the plastic ends up in their bellies. Disney's Animal Programs monitors seven miles of beach on the east coast of Florida near Disney's Vero Beach Resort. We work very closely with both state and federal agencies to help protect sea turtles. So we'll go in after the eggs have hatched and we'll count how many actually hatched and how many eggs didn't hatch. And the great thing about it is that we have a very high survival rate on our beach. We also participate in a program created by the Sea Turtle Conservancy called Tour de Turtles. It's a great opportunity for you when you're not here at Disney's Bureau Beach Resort to be able to track turtles online. So we're gonna have two turtles in this race. And the whole point is where do sea turtles go after they finish laying their eggs? Each of those turtles gets to swim for a specific cause, and these are all causes that are challenges for sea turtle survival. There's not a lot of space left for sea turtles. Places where they can come and lay their eggs, our beaches, are declining as well. The team at Disney's Animal Kingdom in the Seas with Nemo and Friends has nursed more than 300 endangered sea turtles back to health and released them back to the wild. The Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund has directed more than $1.1 million to sea turtle conservation efforts. At Walt Disney World, we're very committed to making a difference for wildlife and wild places and getting the next generation involved in caring for wildlife. We're gonna get the um, sea turtles for you to take a look at and it's gonna be really tough to see. So our work has really been about educating people and protecting our beaches so that sea turtles will continue to have a future in the wild.